Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a directory website using WordPress for free. And by directory website, I mean a website where people can register and they can list their services, businesses, or properties. And the website owner can charge them for their listings or keep it free. I have some videos about this topic on this channel, but those were with paid themes. And in today's video, we're gonna explore a free theme with some amazing features. And before creating the website, let's have a look at the demo website and see how it works. And the theme that we will be using in this video is high phrase. And there is a link to it in the description box, so just click on it and it will take you to this page. And here you can see pre multipurpose directory WordPress theme. Then you can scroll down. You can learn more about this theme. We can easily launch a directory website and it comes up with all essential directory features right out of the box. So we can add new listing with a few clicks, we can minute listing, we can make listing featured and get more views and can communicate via private messages and it is easy to use so we can add different filters, search listings, filter listings, bookmarks and so on. And then we can monetize this website by paid listings like charging user for adding their listings and making some listings featured for an extra fee then charging user for claiming listings and last but not least we have dozen of payment methods thanks to WooCommerce. Then you can scroll down you can learn more about this theme so quick and easy setup we will explore a demo and then we will customize it and then ready set and customize so we can add custom fields, search filters, unlimited categories, easy styling, Gutenberg integration and translation ready. Now let's have a look at the demo website that this theme offer so let's scroll up and click on live demo and this is the demo website so here on the top we have this section find everything you need search properties, services and item for sales okay by the way you can change these based on your need then we can search for a specific keyword within a location or we can also click on it and it will detect our location then we have top categories for the real estate services and for sale and then the most recent listings on this website so this is a real estate property this is an item for sale for sale this is a service by the way and then we have a minimal footer with the logo description and important links and obviously we can customize it based on our need. Then we have some other pages like listings. Where visitors will see all the listings. They can search for them and they can also filter them by these categories. If I click real estate and filter them. We will get attributes related to this real estate. Okay, This is rent type and then square foot. Then if I go back to all categories and choose services and filter them. This will only show services here and then we have other attributes like hourly rate, availability and warranty. So you can customize these things and the dashboard easily without any coding, okay? So this was the listing page. Then we have some extra pages like listing single page and vendor page where you will see vendors. The people that are registered on this website and are offering their services are their listings. And this is the listing single page. So this is how a single listing page will look like. These are the category, the title, then the location and some details with this gallery with multiple photos, location again, about the vendor and description and reviews. These are related listings. Then we have a blog page, sign in and add listing. If I click it, I will have to log in before I add a listing. Okay, I, And I can even register to this website by clicking here and then I will write my email and password and will register on this website. Let me log into its demo account. Now after login it took me to a listing page where I can choose a category. Then I can upload some images. Then I can write title, location, description and submit this listing to the admin of this website. And after login I will also see my favorites settings and I can log out. So this is the website that we will be creating in this video. Again this is a free theme with all these functionalities. And if you want extra functionalities you can use their snippet codes or you can buy their extra paired add-ons. That I will go through later on in this video. Now let's see how we can download this theme and then how we can set it up on our WordPress website. So again the link is in the description. Just go there and click on download. Which will take you to WordPress repository from where you can download this theme. And you can also go to your WordPress dashboard. And before installing the theme, you can go to plugins, add new, and search for listing hire. And you will see this plugin, HyPress Business Directory Classified Ad Plugin. This is by HyPress, just install and activate it. And once you activate the plugin, this will suggest you to use the official themes that I just showed you, so just click on it. And then we have some powerful themes from HyPress. 
this is meeting rental hive so rental properties expert hive this is a freelance marketplace like fiverr and upwork this is task hive a job board theme then job hive again and listing hive which is the free theme that we will be using in this video so to install this theme just click on install and then activate it and that's it now you can go ahead and delete this theme now i have installed the theme but still if i visit this website and there is nothing now let's see how we can get their demo content and then how we can customize it so for that we will go back to the dashboard if you want to start with the listing hive demo content please follow this screencast just click on it which will show you the procedure that how you can get the demo content and how you can install it so the first thing is we will need to download the demo files so just click here to download those files which will give you a zip file like this so just click on it and here we have this folder let's extract this to our desktop I'll go to desktop, we'll open it and here we have these three files content, customizer and widgets and now we can upload this to our WordPress website by using this plugin one click demo import so let's install it I'll go back to my dashboard we'll go to plugins, add new and we'll search for that plugin one click and this is the plugin that we need so let's install and activate it and plugin activated you can find it under appearance and import demo data just click on it then scroll down and here you can import the xml file the widgets and the customizer so let's import them one by one i'll click on select a file and from that demo folder i'll use the content file we'll open it and then we'll choose widgets and customizer and then we'll click continue import which will start the import process this will take a minute so let's wait for it and input complete let's visit the website again and we got the whole website here okay let's scroll down we have the top categories recent listings and the footer and now let me quickly show you how you can customize this theme and make it your own then i'll show you how you can customize the listings and the vendors and how you can add extra personalities to this theme now to customize this header, the logo, the menu and also the footer, you can just click on customize which will open a customization page and to change the logo just click on it and here you can upload a logo so just click on change logo and upload any image from your computer so let's upload one and we'll use this demo logo and we'll select it and this is our logo make sure to upload a small size logo I'll fix this with some custom CSS okay this is the website title and tagline that you can change if you want to and you can also add your site icon that you will see in the browsers and then go back let me quickly fix this this is logo okay let's close this and go back now if you want to change these colors like the yellow and the green you can just go to colors you can change them over here just click on it and then you can choose any color same goes for this one let's go back and then we have header image which is this one you can change it over here then we have menus which is this one and you can go to header and you can customize this menu by the way let's click on it and let's choose the header menu which will show all the available pages here okay then go back and you can also make changes to the footer menu and also to the listings and so on you can see those menus over here in the footer okay you can change them if you want to then go back and these are some widgets and side footer here we have text then menu then categories and then again a menu which are these widgets in the footer for example if you want to customize this text just click on it and here you can click on this image to change it and you can change this text over here this is the home page settings and fonts if you want to change these fonts you can change them over here so this is for the headings which is this one and also this and this one and so on and this is the body fonts like the text so in this way you can customize the website and at the end just click on publish to save your changes now let's go to our WordPress dashboard to explore other options now the main thing here in the dashboard is this listings if I go there you can see all the listings available on this website and here we have these categories as well these categories play an important role in this website let me show you on the live website these are the top categories and then each of these categories have their own attributes okay let me show you 
So this is a real estate category and if I go to categories, we can change these categories over here. We can add new category, let's say a new category and we can also choose a parent category for it. We can add description, we can add an image, order and so on. So in this way we can add a new category here and then most important is attributes. If I go there, you can see these attributes and these are assigned to specific categories like these are for real estate, these are for services and these are for sales. I showed you in the demo and let me show you again. If I go to listings, I can use those filters over here. Okay. So these are now the attributes rent type and this square foot and square foot type and rent okay so you can customize them you can add a new one and so on so in this way you can customize the listing the attributes and the categories same goes for windows where you will see all the windows from this website you can add new windows and if a new person sign up you will see the new user here okay so in this way you can customize the windows and also the listings now let's go to high press and settings where you can customize listing windows user and integrations so under display you can select a listing page and listing per page, regular listing, feature listing and so on. This is the title for it, enable gallery, enable zoom option and so on. And then this is for the search, submission and expiration. You can go ahead and change these settings based on when you Same goes for windows. You can display windows and you can display it on search page and registration and so on. Now if you want direct registration on your website, make sure to enable it, okay? And lastly, let me show you how you can customize the main pages like home, about and so on. For that you can go to pages and you can edit any of these pages. Let's say the home page, so I edited it. And let's close this. And this is the simple Gutenberg editor. You can click on any text and you can change it. Let's remove it back. Same goes for this text. And this is a search bar from the theme. These are the categories. You can customize the number of columns, the number of categories, parent categories, orders and so on. This is the listing. Again, you can customize it. And if you want to add a new block, just click on this plus. And you can add images, paragraphs, list, galleries and click on browse all. And you can add any of these elements to this page. Let's say I need a three column layout here, so I'll just click on it. I'll drag it here. And I can choose a one, two or three column layout. And then to add content, just click on this plus, add an image and you can choose from media library, select it and then we'll click here, we'll click on this plus, we'll add a paragraph and then we'll click on it. I can add a video if I want to. So in this way we can customize the main pages and we can add extra blocks if needed. Let's remove it, okay. So I'll click on delete. And again, just click on update to save your changes. Let's view the page. So this is how you can create a directory website using WordPress and using a free theme which is listing hype. This is from Hypress. Again, the theme link is in the description box. And to learn more about WordPress, just visit my channel. I have lots of videos about WordPress. And still, if you have any questions about this video, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.